as she but, freezes yeah. right when I hit the record button. Oh, Ooh. nope, she's getting nuts. Nope. My boobs are like extra shadowy. Hands are here. <laughs> Pornhub, here we come. Uh, <laughs> you guys. Welcome. This week's episode, my boobs are super shadowy. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Geek Boots Military Nerds. Here at Geek Boots, let's tell you all about the big green weenie and how it likes to continue to fuck us. Just like everyone putting their movies out on HBO Max, and we're still waiting for Black Widow. That's true. Uh, oh, that's a thing. <laughs> so, okay, so I saw I saw one thing today, and it was like, uh, you know how they they've got those features, the filters that you can like automatically age somebody to like they're 80 years old sure yeah they did that to daniel craig and said and here's daniel craig uh arriving at the red carpet for the release of the new 007 movie that's funny <laughs> i love that like, shit uh that's great this, this week's episode we got a special guest with us joining us uh because we were talking a little bit and he said he misses the fuck out of us i said i missed the fuck out of you too ladies and gentlemen we got special guest hawkeye cosplay on what's instagram up? what's up um like like J4 would say, if you don't know who he is because you haven't watched our previous episodes, catch up. Catch up. <laughs> uh, full family today. Um, before we roll into everything, let's. We got I just got to get this knocked out. Um, Mayan, this is this is for you because. Um, hold on, spotlight. If you don't know, catch up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> I had this commissioned by LK Designs. Share your screen. I'm working on it. God. Jeez. Jeez. Hurry up. Freaking millennials in their technology. Fuck Come on, man. man. Click a button. Continue, continue Googling my but rock dad, over here. Dad, wrong? Like, are we there? Um, so, yeah. No. Actually, you know what? This is going to be better if I pin hers. You're going. Yeah, we got to see her reaction. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. There we go. Oh, um, no, shit. Why is Not that... anymore. Not anymore. Oh. Lost her completely. Oh, no. Is this again? No. She's. So oh, there, there she is. is. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit. Okay. That was awesome. You wow. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. Right. <laughs> All right. So, anyway. My and Goddesses Network bandwidth is low. This is because of everything you do for us for the community <clears throat> whether it's civilians with kids can cosplay or the military um and everything that you do all of your this twitch streams your volunteering your twitch streams your, your health your life this is you. our way of saying we love you uh it is now being sent to the geek boots messenger group I'm chat about to die? you probably will um it's taking forever to load in the messenger, so. They make it um, sound like a, I'm like having like a like a Make a Wish Foundation thing going on. It's about to be as soon <laughs> as it loads. Guys, I love here to say hi. Right. Um, <laughs> load already. We're murdering you. Right there it goes. There, there it is. Check messenger. A picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a picture of you. <laughs> Yeah, we fucking did. Oh God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Can I describe what I'm seeing right now? Like, Actually, no. If you've got, have, if, like, can this no, be somebody like... can share their screen and we can show the audience. <laughs> no, oh you can God. do that. So, like, I'm unable to because I'm looking at it on a different application. But oh, there it goes. <laughs> so basically, for there those who is. don't have video of what, like, like. <laughs> So lifelike. So, it's a it dolphin, is. just as Wonder Woman. So this and my favorite part is I'm willing to bet that like like Tom Cruise here went up to LK Designs and was like, hey, 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 I need you to stick with me. 
this... because I got something weird. And LK was like, don't worry, I got you, fam. He goes, no, you don't understand. Like, like... <laughs> you're like, you're honestly you're so well not, said you're not far off from uh that as a conversation uh let me go back and that is just the the, the, the likeness is crazy so i, I, so it's, I sent it's it phenomenal in. so i said it's a dolphin breaching and jumping out of the ocean, wearing Wonder Woman armor, not the not the uh, the gold one, uh, the tiara, and the black hair flowing. And the dolphin is laughing, so open mouth smile with closed eyes. Now, so keep that in mind that I wanted this to be a cartoon. LK Designs decided to go break the barrier and do like a CGI slash live action dolphin, and I was just like, that's a hundred times better. So he goes, his response, she must love dolphins. I go. <laughs> Well, no. <laughs> I, I don't I don't want to add anything to this, but the first time I saw this picture, honestly, all I could think of is that scene from the boys with the deep. Yes. And the, 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 the yeah. air. And I'm uh -huh. like imagining this dolphin like, with its tiara and like the Wonder Woman outfit and everything like that just flying through the air. That's hilarious. <laughs> No. I'm thinking like the dolphin was like looking at the team going like I know you wanted some role play in your life <laughs> his, also, right, his next response oh. later his next response <laughs> his next response later on is this is the first time I've ever done a dolphin as a whole <laughs> uh, phrasing so yeah that's what the deep said yeah <laughs> That is amazing. Thank you. Thank you you're, so much. You're we welcome. You. Uh, how the hell do I stop pinning my screen? Remove pin. You hit the in pin, unpin. Yeah. There you go. And then gallery view. Gallery view. I'm working on it. <clears throat> view gallery. Okay. So yeah. Uh, if you sign up to Patreon uh, this week, the next eight people will also get this as an awesome poster in the mail. So, yeah, saying, um, yeah, I wanted to do that Saiyan. for you, mine. Yeah, uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. We know we we wanted to show you all the love. We have um, missed you. We love you. Speaking thank of posters, got to give love to our comic book <laughs> shops that throw up our posters and throw show us some love. Mill Geeks Comics and here at the state of Washington in the Mill Creek area. Shout out to Mill Geeks. Um, single Dad, your turn. Uh, obviously going to go with uh, Endgame Comics and Collectibles here in Ventura, California, down on Main Street. Uh, love them very much. Uh, go check them out. And Mayan Goddess. Hey. A huge shout out to Frankenstein's City of Industry, yep. California, who are, are trailblazing um, the meth back to fruition. So, huge shout out and thank you to them for all their hard work. Yes. Um, I'm not going to ask you to repeat that. Yeah, because <laughs> I can simply about say, other go to another episode where she's on and she gives a shout out. <laughs> it's fine. And they know who they are. Come on now. Um, <laughs> throw it over to our special guest, Hawkeye Cosplay. Do you have a comic book shop that you like frequenting? I I honestly do not, but I need to, I need to fix that, don't I? Yes. God damn it! What the hell's wrong? No, I, I'm know, just kidding. I know. I know. <laughs> Cosplay Genemy, has life her. changed for you in the better? Have you found a comic book <laughs> shop? <laughs> well, you know, I. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to start that <laughs> off. <laughs> Oh, well, you know. Oh. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> you know, I, I will. So there is this comic book shop that I like to take cosplay photos next to. Okay. <laughs> and it's Perfect. called Escape Velocity Comics. I've worked for them a couple times in cosplay, so that's actually kind of cool. But see, sweet, a thing. Speaking yeah. of, you and when I took photo. Speaking of cosplay photo shoots, you had one today. I did. I was very excited to see you up in cosplay again. I, me too. I'm trying to do this new thing where I do one at least, 
I'm making it a plan to do at least one cosplay a month this year. That's kind of my goal. That's... I'm going to try to keep it thematic to each month, but not every month has like a thing. Sure. So. Right. Well, you've already done Shamrock for March. So yes. we'd have to think of a different one. She, she was talking about. I mean, how I could got... redo. I uh, haven't done Shamrock in probably three years. Before we started recording, she was telling us about how it's a Mardi Gras Tinkerbell. And I started thinking about, you know, where we are right now in, in society and history. And I just go, so if Mardi Gras were to go down right now, do you think instead of taking your shirts off to get beads, we just take off our masks? They might throw mask on, at you. shirt off. Mask on, shirt <laughs> off. Hey, but at least they can't find you if you have a mask I'm with on. You, like, right? if people are taking videos or photos. True. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, I found this pen, this Disney pen. Uh, some time ago, and oh, still, yeah. I just I was like, "Oh, I've got all the pieces cute. for that." Mine. So, what were you saying? That's cute. That's super cute. I was gonna say you could take like your shirt and then turn it into a mask. Oh, oh, no, no, they, like they, those, got those. <laughs> they got those. They got those. You yeah. just be walking down the street, cut, collecting cut holes in your because you never put it down because you're using the shirt as your mask. Yeah, just cut holes in the shirt so when you pull it up, you can still see through the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me about my beads. <laughs> so uh, this body gras, make sure you look for cosplay Genevieve. It won't be hard to find. <laughs> I mean, oh, she just. Peed. I got beads. Oh wow! Ooh. Wow. Hmm. I got more than that. I have a whole like. Did you buy them or did you earn They're them? Hard earned. I got them at a parade. Okay, her key word is got <laughs> them. No they were thrown <laughs> at me during a parade. And I wouldn't say thrown to me, I would say thrown at me. She's just walking by her business and this giant glob of peas <laughs> gets her in the face. <laughs> oh my gosh. If, if you've never been to a parade, they really. Yeah. Like, yeah, whoosh. I've never been to Mardi Gras. So, what always got have... me was the cups, and it, if they had like the doubloons and the, everything inside, I mean, they were just chucking those things. Yeah, I, I think my favorite was when a when a um uh float was going by and they handed me something and it was a hot dog. <laughs> Eat the wiener! Wow! Eat our wiener! I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> it was super fresh. And so it was wrapped in, <laughs> I mean, they're wrapped in a foil. Oh, okay. It was still warm. And so you open the foil and then there's like even a ketchup and mustard package in there with it. They're looking out for oh, all the drunk kind of people head. out there. That is awesome. <laughs> it's like, uh. We're going to have a booth and we're going to throw green hot dogs at everybody. It's going to be wait, great. Was that in Demian? <laughs> I, so I remember, Jenny, which parade was that? Endemian? Remember when mm. I was in the Marine Corps? Um, I'm pretty sure it was it, it was the Highlands Parade in Shreveport. It was okay. uh, that's the kids parade. It's okay. usually the one I go to. And gotcha. my and goddess continue. What? Sorry. Oh, so when I was in the military, um, like I was a musician, and so we would do Mardi Gras every year. And I remember my first Mardi Gras was right after the Saints won the Super Bowl. Oh, oh that was the first year I moved to oh. Louisiana. <laughs> oh, my god when i tell you louisiana louisiana knows how to fucking party they know how to motherfucking party oh it's so good i've heard stories yes it, it's phenomenal speaking of stories this week's episode wandavision mm -hmm. yes. um so the question on patreon was um oh, wait hold on so spoiler some spoiler territory we're going to okay. try and focus on the initial reaction of the first couple of episodes because that's what came out first um but barren warning uh the question was general so it ended up being uh the the questions on by our patrons are very spoiler territory so i apologize in advance but we're gonna dive right on in um so what questions do they have of us of WandaVision and, of course, to Hawkeye? So Sean asks, non WandaVision related, what movies or shows are you interested in coming out this year? Yes. 
<laughs> that's a perfect answer yes uh <laughs> all of them yeah you know the more you think about that the more you're just like yeah no all of them yeah every one of them I'm excited. so much oh, goodness godzilla versus king kong comes out on my birthday march 31st so i'm the most excited about that i'm excited about that like i am so excited to treat myself um with that movie on my birthday i don't care to how your couch i, I mean fuck yeah <laughs> man i get to watch a movie in my underwear all right now you know too much about my life uh single dad why your turn good sir Sur- surprise you know, you're wearing you know a- he's elegant because he's got the underwear on and everything right <laughs> no, I, I was just thinking why are you wasting time putting on underwear exactly <laughs> People don't need to know what I actually do. It's all about that soaky okay. life. <laughs> I, I think we discussed it with um, with our episode on like HBO Max and everything that's that's coming out this year, and them literally releasing pretty much everything. Um, I'm, I don't think your dog likes this question. No, he doesn't. He <laughs> really doesn't. Well, he's we're training him, mm-hmm. so. Um, Really looking forward to uh, Godzilla Kong, Suicide Squad, mm-hmm. Suicide Squad. I'm I'm really really looking forward to that one. Um, John Wick, uh, four. I I mean, you name it. There are the so Matrix. many. Yes, the Matrix. Um, and I'm glad that they separated those release dates because having the Matrix and John Wick four coming out on the same day when when they originally announced them, they were going to release on the same day i'm like you're gonna make me choose <laughs> between john wick and neo you well, fuckers now thanks to hbo max you right just watch one after the other they, right <laughs> <laughs> so i mean it, it, literally with everything that's going on um i understand that uh that theaters are kind of a, a bust uh situation um I'm liking the fact that streaming services are starting to cater and releasing movies at the same time. Um, so if there's any Disney executives listening, hey, cough, Black Widow, don't make us pay an extra thirty bucks to see a movie on release day because, I mean, how many more movies are getting backed up? Yeah, for you guys waiting on a release date. I mean, obviously, these studios were like, hey, I see how Netflix makes their money via streaming time. So why don't we just switch gears and do that for now? Duh. Oh, and also, the Snyder Cut. The yeah. Snyder Cut. Next month. You took Next my month. Took yeah, my I was going to say, that's, that's soon, yeah. yeah. Speaking of Snyder Cut being taken, Mayan Goddess, it's now your turn. <laughs> Um, so definitely the Snyder Cut. I, I think a, a lot of us in the superhero community have been waiting for that for a while. So that's I'm I'm really excited for that coming out. So that, that's like the big one. But also since it is technically this year, even though it's later this year, Dune. Oh mm. yeah, the trailer on that did look really good. How did I? How did I forget Dune? Dame, because Dame it's like a Dame what? A movie or two movies a month all year long from these companies through HBO Max. I mean, the mind can only remember so many amazing movies. I know, but it's Dune. I'm so glad that AT and T talked me into upgrading my service to get HBO Max. <laughs> now you'll be able to keep along with us. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so now you can watch the Harley Quinn show. Oh, I've already watched it. Okay, good. Okay. I okay, watched that okay. like the first week I had it. It's so good. <laughs> you good, Maya? Was that, was that a good enough answer? You, you, you satisfied with your answer or you want to keep going? No, that, that's perfect. Okay, awesome. Cosplay Genemy, your turn. Didn't what I, are you excited d- about? Didn't I say yes? Yeah, okay, fine. Ooh. We'll move on right from you then. <laughs> <laughs> No, honestly, I'm, you know, I, I see the things that come and then I'm like, oh yeah, wait, hold on. Let, and then I instantly forget. And then, so then I get excited like the week that things come out and then I'm like, oh yeah, there was that. Right. Yeah. Fair enough. And so I don't keep up with like exactly when things are releasing. Yeah. I'm just, like I said, Godzilla versus Kong is the only thing I got the date for because it's my birthday. I mean, I'm excited about the matrix, but I'm like, 
the trailer for HBO Max releasing all these movies, that was like the last slide at the end of the trailer. So my assumption is it's the end of the year, but I have no idea. So, you know, true. All the, all the stuff. Hawkeye cosplay. What are you excited about this year? Well, we've already named, I mean, a good majority <laughs> of them. But Falcon and Winter Soldier, mm. excited about that. Uh, and you're yes. probably going to find this hard to believe, but I'm actually excited about the Hawkeye series. What? what? I know. No I know. way. I know. I thought you I were Crazy. just cosplaying Crazy. Hawkeye for the likes. You don't actually like him. You're just a self-absorbed <laughs> jackass. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. I love you too. <laughs> yeah. I'll get even with you later. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, you caught my trip. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you caught yeah. my trip. <laughs> I'm actually looking Green forward Arrow. to seeing what that's all the about. The wannabe Green Arrow. Yeah, the wannabe. But I, I'm really excited about it. I think it, I think it looks good. I've been watching all the you know those behind the scenes shots that have been re- uh, getting uh, released out there. So yeah, I think it should it should be good. I'm excited about it. Sweet. And the, um, and the Schneider cut. I'm excited about that. I mean, there's now I have a question real quick. Are any yeah. theaters open in Washington? Are any theaters open in Washington? Uh, I know that my usual theater actually opens up tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. Yeah. As I get the uh, silent thumbs up from Melete sitting on the couch yeah. over there, some, um, I know some places, some states have theaters open. So I know some of these things we could, you know, not here in California yet. But um, so this is an we inter- can't keep up here because they're like open and closed and open and then closed. This is this is actually I appreciate your question on this honestly because um, this is an interesting segue and something to think about. Me personally, I don't know if I'll be really willing to go to the theaters anytime this year um and my personal preference is simply just trying to navigate whether or not a theater is open and if they're doing limited capacity how the seats sell out fast things of that nature um it just won't feel the same i i will patiently wait for the day when i can sit in a theater like i did with endgame where we watch something epic and something happens and the whole crowd just gets up and cheers you know that's that's the experience i want for the first time back in theaters um i don't know about you guys but i I think i'm going to patiently wait till theaters are really open and things go back to normal yeah yeah, normal (laughs) yeah i i think that there's anything that we've learned as a society is how to kind of take good care of ourselves and take precautions and and as tempting as it is to want to like go out and explore and get out and escape like we're I think as a society we're learning how to do it safely so that and and as far as movies are concerned I I think that's going to be one of the big ones that everybody's going to keep their eye on yeah for sure um great great question Hawkeye good good job I like that now guts These are our two Patreons. Shout out to both of them. We love them both dearly. But Guts decides to ask something that is in spoiler territory. So I apologize to all of our viewers. If you haven't watched Hawkeye, I'm not Hawkeye. He's sitting right over there. If you haven't watched WandaVision. If you watch him, you watch the shit out of him. (laughs) Yeah, if you watch that, just come onto the show for about the hour that it's alive and just stare at Hawkeye. I'll I'll help you out. Ready? (laughs) There you go. (laughs) <laughs> anyway um back to the, so guts's question do you think vision is alive or do you think scarlet witch is simply using vision's dead body as a puppet while the world she created fuck man that's yes. deep, that's some deep shit right there if i gotta ooh, say ooh, so. you can take me off the- ooh, me 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 uh i'm Can actually I- gonna start with our guest this time Aww. oh throw it over to hawkeye what do you think good sir uh well i think it's uh, he's not alive mm-hmm. i don't think he's alive i think it's all that's all her in her mind or no. what she's created because she's grieving but, but i don't know that's all i think i i don't think that much actually but yeah, I, I don't. I definitely don't think he's actually alive. Fair enough. Cosplay Jenny, since you could not just wait, what do you got? Well, I had a, I had this conversation with somebody before it became a question, so it was already there. Isn't Sweet. That- okay, so I definitely don't think he's alive, but I do think she created him from his corpse because you see it for a second in one of the episodes. Yes. What? I'm gonna have to go back and. Did watch. you miss it? 
Well, it's, obviously. Uh, not the last one. It was the episode prior. Yeah. She sees him. Um, when, uh, after she gets rid of. Yes. Yeah, let me just stay there. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> when he walks back into the house, mm -hmm. there's a quick image of him without the oh. stone in his head. And he's like blue, like yep. gray. Yeah. Yeah. Gray. The, the, yeah. Bluish gray, whatever you have, purple. <laughs> Dead. Dead. And so I do kind of think she's actually reanimated his corpse. I mean, he's a computer, so it's not necessarily a corpse either, but. Uh... <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, I'm going to have to go back and rewatch that. Must have missed it or forgot about it. One of the two. It's been a, been a little bit. Uh, single dad, your turn, good sir. What do you think? So going into spoiler territory, of course. Obviously. Um, looking at the different series that uh, Scarlet Witch and, um, and Vision have been in in the past, the reason that um, they had them have twins on the show, uh, the reason that I, all this other stuff, Vision has died and been reborn rebuilt whatever you want to say it i mean multiple times in the comics yeah absolutely um one of the reasons that wanda went crazy was because her twins I and mean, her twin children were killed um and so i mean, vision's been rebuilt by tony stark vision's been rebuilt uh, and obviously he was originally built um he's been rebuilt by ultron he's been um a, there's so many different ways that he has come back to life and then either chosen to destroy himself or been destroyed by an enemy right now what i think is what i'm i'm hoping is going on in the show is yes wanda is in her mind she, she is making this image and she is I'm doing all this to protect her psyche because she had the love of her life killed in front of her and her brother was killed by Ultron and she's had all of this horrific stuff happen to her and so now she's trying to protect herself what I'm looking forward to seeing is a scene where she goes and takes vision like the vision that had the soul stone ripped from his head by Thanos. Um, she goes and takes that body from, uh, from shield or sword or whoever has it um, at the time, the Avengers, whoever um, takes that and make, creates this safe haven uh, for herself. So that way she can be, be at peace where they go from there. It's anybody's guess. No. But uh, we have a few guesses. So I'm kind of I'm I'm very much reminded of um what's it called? Like the ward, um, six souls, like movies that involve um like uh, split like multiple personalities. Yes. I'm very much reminded of that as far as WandaVision, like I'm seeing a lot of similarities. So I, like in my mind, it's kind of more of that dissociative um, issue and from that usually stems from trauma, which is very similar to what a um, single dad here was saying. I, I'm very much like kind of, I'm thinking it's along the same path and I kind of hope that it does go in that direction. Um, because we've seen in the past, um, especially in Age of Ultron, where she kind of like has those visions and you kind of get lost in those worlds. So it, I kind of feel like in my mind, she's lost in those worlds. Um, and it would be, at, at least in my mind, like, yeah, Vision's dead. And what, in my mind, it's like, this is Wanda coping with that. Like she's escaped into so many different realities and so many different visions that she's just lost. And that's kind of how I see it. Um, I, I can't wait to be thoroughly proven wrong, 
Um, but that's kind of how I take it at least. <clears throat> well, um, I think he is dead, but, uh, furthermore, I also think that there are certain aspects of this world that she's created that we have to keep in mind are either all, uh, they're real, like the people they're obviously, uh, real, or, um, a lot of aspects of this are just something she conjured up out of her, her head, um, inanimate object wise. And I think vision is one of those things so that she can live her life in some degree of happiness, um, with vision. Uh, I don't think she's reanimating his corpse. I think that she has created a conscious version of vision to walk around, uh, case in point, there are moments when Vision starts to remember something, and then all of a sudden there has to be this moment of reset that happens and occurs, and I think that's under her control. So I think that uh, he's essentially a figment of her imagination because she doesn't want to let go. So that's that is my response to Vision and his being in the show. That being said, this... This series is obviously like going uh, down a stroll of memory lane of old sitcoms. Um, I'm digging it. I know that some people have gone out of their way to say um, they don't like it because it's unlike other Marvel movies because it's not so super cu cookie cutter, if you will. Um, that being said, uh, simply put, are you are you it, into, into it is this refreshing do you like what you're viewing we'll start off with hawkeye oh i love it i wasn't sure at first to be honest with you uh the first the first episode i was kind of like huh you know it's, it is very different and um but i i love it i've been i've been digging it and i i'm i understand how some people might not like it but uh, for me it's it's fantastic and i can't wait to, i just can't wait to see where they're going to take it you know what are they going to do with this I just want to take a second to derail for a minute and talk about single dad's adult beverage post and how it showcases <laughs> Hawkeye. <laughs> just I can't see bam. it. <laughs> you got me. Still got my screen like huge. I can't see. Yeah, he's still pinned. I'm um, I don't like if you go to the view on your I'm own screen. Oh, oh, I know. Oh, I know. Change him. Oh, I know. Yeah. So that's I'm that's back in gallery. You underestimate <laughs> how much we thirst over Hawkeye's Hawkeye. like. Mm -hmm presence tonight mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's true you guys it's okay. kind of fitting if you think about it what oh, we have and all that wonderful jazz anyway i mean we have a guest mine is there. mine is half it again. guys and half school work i want to see it again tom oh god so I, it was pinned so i could i am needy <laughs> you know, I just, look at your phone on instagram look at instagram yeah Jeez. just look at your phone jesus dude <laughs> jesus Sorry. <laughs> Such a great uh, I made this evidently. I I didn't even know. Uh, it. I'm a I'm a boomer. I I can't multi I can't multitask. I can't, I'm not that old now. <laughs> I can't I can't do more than one screen at once. Ah, uh, I'm out. Uh, you I'm pesky out. kids. Aren't you two the same age? Yeah, pretty much. So shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but he multitasked. That's why, that's why I'm yeah. feeling that I. Did, that's why I'm feeling he? of the group. I'm the one that should be making fun of him as the elder statesman of our group. Did, did he multitask or did he tune us out for a minute and decide to take a photo? Let's be real here. Sorry, what was that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now um, I have to think about that. <laughs> yeah, right. The, the fact that I'm sitting here, I'm like answering my kids' questions because uh, they're trying to cook dinner right now and still oh. answering your questions and taking photos and posting to Instagram. I think I'm doing all right. You're doing good. I mean, I just posted in our group what I'm doing right now, so. If I open it up and it's Pose. something dirty, I'm going to get really upset. Dirty. If I open it up and it's something dirty, I'm going to get really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably I mean, it's I'm hard. Like Tom Cruise. It's hard. <laughs> it's, it, it's hard. Uh, is yeah. it math? Anyway, it's it's something. <laughs> no, it's rocks. It's it's rocks. Rock? Oh, it's speaking rocks. rocks. <laughs> speaking of something. See, speaking of something that rocks. Cosplay, Jenemy, your turn to answer the question. Well, what was this question again? 
How are you feeling about the show so far? Do you like oh. it or are you with the Oh my god. Like, uh, no. Oh, I am I am loving it. My only complaint is they're not sticking into each um subsection of TV shows long enough for me. Like I oh. want more like of her world. I want to be submersed in her world in each episode longer. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you're saying short. you want to like, be part of her world. <laughs> What's the word? Oh, and oh, and just like the, the person who lives Burn. in the ocean, that's such a fitting joke coming from a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ocean jokes. Anyway, <laughs> that's deep, man. That's re- that's really deep. Ah, <laughs> man, the boys are back in town with this one. Uh, <laughs> that, that was horrible. Anyway, single dad, how about you? Oh, I need the invisible cunt. <laughs> <laughs> and that's his answer. We're moving on. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. Um, I I want I kind of want to talk about this because I mm-hmm. and Jeremy, you say that you wanted to stick with each genre of television more, but I think one episode, I mean, per decade to get us up to. I mean. This is a building up, so you. It is, want- and there's, and I know it's going to go into a lot more into into depth of a lot more things, but I really liked the simplicity of just her world there for a little bit, and I know it's going to become this huge thing eventually, but I liked having the innocence of her and just these tiny bits of mysterious, and I know that's what people don't like about it, and that's what I love about it. I'm I'm in the same vein. I, that's what I love about it, and the fact that they're actually treating a television show as a television show, Man, not yeah. as something, yeah. not as something to you sit down and, and you watch all sixteen episodes in one night to get them all out. So, so you can either talk about it with your friends or spoil it for other people. Yeah, mm-hmm. fucking spoilers. Like mm. this episode. Right. Um, Hey, no, well, I mean, we warned it's people. Four weeks, I, it's four weeks in the coming, and it's I'm not. I'm on like the same page with with Single Dad on that. I mean, I read an article recently about about the show, and it's like people have forgotten how to watch television. It's true. It it takes me back to I mean, whether you think the ending was good or not, Lost. Holy shit! I mean that that was a there used to be what we called television events. Yes. And like you were looking forward to next week and all week long, you would talk about with your friends, like what happened on the previous episode and what you thought was going to happen on the next episode. Yep. Lost doesn't really work Loved for it. me because I watched it all on DVD. I, <laughs> but he's right. I mean, it was, I love it. I love that you have to wait. No, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, well, that yeah. But, you know, like, the, okay. But they did that, you know, with with the Mandalorian, and they've done that. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I think that the great thing about it is that you like we as a society are learning how to watch TV again. Because not only that, like single dad, you bring up really great points, but there's a lot of investment and homework that goes into TV shows that makes it a different format than we see in movies. And I think as a society, we've gotten so used to binge watching that it's kind of like we're just watching a really long movie, but you forget all the episodes that happen in the middle, which is like, it's really exciting getting to see people talking and being like, I can't wait for Friday. I can't wait for Friday. I can't wait for Thursday or whatever. And like, other than the Mandalorian and WandaVision right now, really only get to see it in like, um, like news shows or YouTube videos where it's like, okay, I can't wait for like my next TikTok or my next YouTube person to upload because they always upload on Mondays kind of thing. Call them the mass singer. But it's really nice getting to kind of see that format again. But but you read them yeah. drop. <laughs> <laughs> the mass I, singer. I, oh, 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 I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's like is, a certain someone. With, with these episodes and everything like that, I love it because... One, it gives you a chance to go back and rewatch the episode multiple times, which we didn't have the option to when 
we were That's watching true. episodic television and you can pick up all of the little Easter eggs, all the little hints that they're dropping and like the minor details that you see. And you're like, when you first watch it, you're like, Oh, okay. But then you, when you go back and you, uh, if you understand and you're kind of a fanboy, uh, not to put fanboys down, but when you understand the story, you see these things and you're like, Holy shit that could mean this or that could mean this it's like well especially yeah, after after this past episode where you got to learn a lot more background information to go back now and rewatch oh yeah finding out about rambo oh that was <laughs> fucking huge and i'm like i mean there were like hints about it before that she didn't belong and that mm -hmm. she she had that emblem and as soon as i saw the emblem i was like I know exactly what that is, so I know yeah. where it's going. Um, we so have three more questions. We're running close to the clock, Mayan Goddess. It's your turn to actually respond to this. Uh, this question: mm -hmm. How are you feeling about the show? <laughs> oh. um, Sorry, well, me, me I and Zing Dad were excited. Like I, yeah, I, I really do appreciate the fact that it's like they're treating it like episodes. Um, and kind of to top onto that, and to add on to what Single Dad was saying, is that like. Do you guys remember the show Westworld? It's yeah. fairly recent, but like season one, when like everybody was just blowing up and absolutely destroying Reddit because they wanted like they were nitpicking at every little detail, and they were and then as soon as the next episode came out, it was like everybody's mind was blown and everyone was nitpicking and trying to figure out what was going on. Like that's the closest example that I can think of to like what's happening now with like the Mandalorian and Wandavision. It's like we get to embrace those the those fanboy moments and we get to embrace the nitpicking details and stuff like that we get to enjoy all the details that disney and marvel have been putting into each episode so that when you look back at it it's like oh that makes sense now i see that now i see this holy shit i didn't even notice that that time like that's that's the beauty of getting to watch these episodes episode by episode so that yeah. i do appreciate and for me i'm a huge fucking sucker for old TV shows like I Dream of Jeannie and I Love Lucy. Like, like this has been like a oh, moment for me. It is, it is everything I needed. And so, like to to get to have those little snippets, it's been so satisfying. And to actually have Dick Van Dyke as one of like the people that were on the episode for the first episode. I, a he wasn't an actor on it. He was just there. I mean, for guidance. But it's like. Who are you going to go to? You're going to go to the master of yeah. 60s sitcom, 50s yeah. and 60s sitcom. Speaking of uh, decades and sitcom themes, this is a two for question. Um, what decades have we seen so far? And then what is your favorite decade theme? I know we have seen I Dream of Jeannie, I feel like was the first one. We did 50s, 60s, and 70s. Uh -huh. Yeah, cool. Uh, Hawkeye. Mm. What was your favorite decade theme episode so far? Well, I'm too young to remember any of those decades. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, probably the 70s. I thought the 70s was pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, I like them all, though. I, I just love it. I, I think it's been cool. So. Sweet. Cosplay Jenemy, your turn. The 40s and 50s is by far my favorite decade when it comes to clothing and makeup style. So, that's where I was like, Ah, and then when they moved like the next episode, I was like, mm. yeah, fair enough. <laughs> single dad, what about you? Uh, yeah, we've seen the 50s, 60s, 70s so far. Um, the 70s obviously is when we're going to have a little bit of split. Um, I think I enjoyed the 60s, excuse me, the 50s episode, the first episode, um, the, the most. I, I want to see what they do with the 80s, though. Right. That's my favorite. Mayan goddess, what's your favorite decade so far? I grew up with I Love Lucy, so I have to go with the 40s and 50s. Nice. Um, I can't remember which episode it was, but when they decided to perform that magic trick in front of everybody, that episode was my favorite uh, for the way they filmed it. Um, it. It was really nice. I don't know. I was kind of like watching that decade, but in more high def, if you will. Like, yeah, that's huh, the oh. Less strings while vision is floating <laughs> off the ground. This is nice. <laughs> okay. Um, last question. Last uh, comment. So they start revealing the outside world coming into this. 
and she asks if they have an old TV. How realistic do we feel about them just being able to pull an old TV out of fucking nowhere? This is tech. What could we consider this a, a military installation? And and they probably how- had one in the back room. What are you talking about? <laughs> right? <laughs> We're fucking right. <laughs> it's but it's not a military installation. It's just yeah, it's in the not. middle of yeah, New Jersey. They're in the they middle of New Jersey. So. No, no, no. The, the thing that is surrounding it that is monitoring oh. the situation is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the post that they made. How realistic is it that they were able to find that old TV lying around? Because if I remember correctly, she's like, You guys have an old TV. And then they were like, uh, let me look. That's after she had the oscilloscope. Once she had the yeah, oscilloscope. It wasn't it wasn't right away. She yeah. asked and then they were like, and then sometime later they brought it, which they could have more realistic. A, yeah. Um oh, what are they called? The this is where they sell old stuff. <laughs> vintage, vintage shop i mean there's my brain there's there are still tv repairmen and there are still antique shops and there are antique still pawn shops, shops. That's what I was looking for. there yeah. are still pawn shops that have i mean at cathode ray tube televisions yep yeah that was that was funny when she said he said what do you mean not I mean, flat. <laughs> might be one yeah, of my parents flat. garage in fact i uh, i'm pretty sure with the resources that they have, they would have been able to find one fairly quickly. It's not like they're non-existent. Sure. I just, I don't know why, but it was my envision that they uh, they had it somewhere in their own stock and they were to pull it out. I mean, they had the other device that I'm too young to know the name of that Single Dad eloquently pointed out. An oscilloscope? Were... Yeah, that thingy. Uh... <laughs> that's, it's actually common scientific equipment. Yeah, that's not a... I look at that thing and I go... I'm too young to know what that is. That thing looks like it belongs in a 40s science lab somewhere. <laughs> okay, well, maybe the model that they had, but at the same time, the function that it served is quite common. Fair enough. Is there, okay, so this was answered extremely quickly, faster than I thought it was going to be. So I'll throw this in. What's the oldest piece of equipment that you remember having on base with you? We'll start with Hawkeye. Oh, Jeez, I use an O-scope, like an old O-scope, uh, but one of the pieces of equipment I used was a reel-to-reel tape player. Oh, shit. Yeah, and we, and well, I don't know, it's not classified, but I, I used it, I, I worked on nuclear missiles, mm-hmm. and I u- utilized that piece of equipment when I was in the missile silo. And literally, it was, a, it was a reel-to-reel thing, and you would, you know, you would put it down on the machine, and you had to, you know, string it through, and it would upload information. And so, I mean, yeah, I mean, it was 1960s-ish, maybe even older technology. So that's probably the oldest thing. But remember, I, you know, I was in quite a while For most of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, that was, that's a pretty old piece. Right. Cosplay Jenny, what's the oldest piece of equipment you've seen while you were in? Can I say the airplanes? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> If that's a factual <laughs> statement, then go for it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm pretty sure the K-loaders were older than the airplane. I mean, newer than the airplanes were that we were loading. Probably. Stuff. And what were you loading on? Uh, all cargo. Single I dad. Worked a, I worked at a, a C-130 base. C-130. But we got we got everything. Single dad, the oldest piece of equipment you've ever had to deal with while you were in. So when I joined and was first given my issue gear, I was actually assigned not the nylon, but the canvas, Y harness, and web belt. I've seen one of those. Canvas M16 <laughs> pouches canvas fucking canteen pouch they had a plastic canteen for me i mean it was a new canteen thankfully but (laughs) yeah yeah the cooks were ended up with what basically the scraps if you will everybody else got the new equipment they're like what do we have left and they gave us those (laughs) for just one little moment out in the field and that was it mind you we were deploying actively to bosnia um Kuwait, uh, Iraq. Uh, this yeah. is 2003, so 
we were still actively deploying with this stuff. Nice. 2003. And, yep, 2003. Okay. Mayan goddess. Um, I remember um, having to de-issue Vietnam era flats um, because one of oh. uh, one of the duty stations I was at had like the super old school ones while everybody had already transitioned. And they were like, oh yeah, we still have these. Um, you can get rid of them now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, memories. Um, the MKT I had at Fort Bragg that ended up getting turned in for multiple reasons uh, was like a late 70s MKT mobile kitchen trailer. Uh, we were just surprised it actually turned on. And yes, it turned on. We opened it up. We had to do tests before the field and we had to make sure that it was working properly. And um, it worked again, surprisingly, because that thing should not have made it just driving out there. I'm just, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> um, WandaVision is this weekend, technically this Friday. So tomorrow. tomorrow. Well tomorrow tonight we're recording. at midnight yeah if you're deciding to stay up because you don't have work in the morning um hmm. so that'll be exciting uh we don't i don't know any theories about what to expect this um if anything expect the unexpected if there's anything i've learned from like westworld legion shows that that involve mental health it's to always just ex like get ready for the unexpected Especially Marvel nowadays, you know, ever since the MCU, they like to uh, subvert everything, don't they? They like to show us a little bit and then they go, by the way, we're actually doing this. I don't have any expectations, but I would love to see, like I talk about the House of Emmer. Wow, the first time I would love to see Mephisto make an appearance. <gasps> that would be dope. I would love to see, because I mean, that's what, that's where Wanda went crazy the first time. Oh, what if? Oh, what if? That's that's what I'm looking at. Uh, there have been teasers as for another character that's going to be showing up this season. So yeah. there's arguments of whether it's whether it's Pietro, whether it's Doctor Strange. Um, so we don't know. Fair enough. Can't wait. Hawkeye. What, you, <laughs> what about you, good sir? What what uh what are you expecting? What are you hoping for uh, uh this next episode? I absolutely have no expectations. Um, I'm just, I'm just excited to see what they're going to give us and where they're going to go. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited to see it. Nice cosplay, Jenny. I have some theories, but I'm not going to go into all those at the moment, just because that's futuristic out of the show. But, um, uh, but yeah, I just, I, I want to just kind of not think of what could happen and just and enjoy it. Yeah, let it go. Let it yeah, because I went into it not like yeah. expecting anything, and I've really enjoyed myself so far. Yes, agreed. Um, I'm in the same boat. So good. We're all on the same accord. We don't know what's going to happen. We're excited for whatever ends up happening. Huzzah! Huzzah! Chaos. Um, Chaos. Yes. <laughs> I am your host representing the army, Tom Cruise, dot military nerd. With me is our special guest, Hawkeye Cosplay, Air Force veteran, if I remember correctly. Is that what Air you're Force talking? and Army both. God, such an overachiever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> couldn't make up my mind. Yeah, couldn't make up his <laughs> mind. So he went with the two best branches. <laughs> the smartest and the dumbest. <laughs> God. I we have a the Marines. Marine. That's insulting to the <laughs> Marines here. Come on now. <laughs> at least they're good at killing stuff. That's true. Hey, you know what? While they're sit while they're sit there and while they're sit there, while they're <laughs> trained. Wow. Thank you for making my point for me. While, while they're trained to run towards the gunfire, we're trained to fire back. So I'm just saying. Uh <laughs> representing also the US Air Force, cosplay Genemy. <laughs> with her new prison tat <laughs> well, right. yeah i know that <laughs> check us out on youtube if you need went to a little closer on. to my eye than i wanted to there but yeah you know now we Until know one person a day 
Yep. <laughs> COVID. It's a heart. So uh, <laughs> she, went, she went out there without a mask. So yeah, she had to put a that would probably on. need way more than one. <laughs> <laughs> Representing the Navy is Single Dad Cosplay, aka Point Place Shop Photography. Hello. And our wonderful crayon munching dolphin representing the United States Marines, Mayan Goddess. Hurrah. I, I'm not really oh, sure. Does anybody have a cherry? <laughs> Nobody in this group has a cherry. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Thank boy, you for tuning oh in. Find us on YouTube, Podbead, Spotify, iTunes, uh, your mother's fucking backside. Still looking for those. Whoa. Um, check us out on all those platforms. Make sure you check out our Instagram. We share uh, awesome cosplayers who served in some capacity, like our special guest, Hawkeye. He gets a lot of shine because he likes to tag us all the time. Thank you much. Appreciated to that. Um, check us out on Facebook. Facebook lets you know, updates you on when episodes drop um, and any events that may occur. Not this year, though. Um, come on. Come on up. Toodles, everybody. Bye. 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 Suck a fucking dick, dick motherfucker. Suck a fucking dick. Motherfucker. Suck a fucking dick, motherfucker. Suck a fucking dick. Motherfucker.